I have talked about the importance of sound design in video editing countless times already, and I've already shown that it helps make videos more engaging and improves viewer retention. However, many novice editors, video editors, still struggle with sound design and working with sound in general, and comments only prove that. I noticed that sound design and working with sound are among the most popular topics of discussion. So, in this video, I'll share a few cool and interesting techniques to help you out. Tell me, what makes any video come to life? Yes, you're right, it's ambient sounds. No matter what your video is about, adding ambient sounds creates an atmosphere and makes it more realistic. Ambient sounds such as wind noise, bird song, city noises, or nature help create atmosphere and allow viewers to immerse themselves in the story and feel like they are inside the video. In addition, ambient sounds can help smooth out abrupt transitions between scenes, they act as a kind of bridge that makes the viewing experience more enjoyable for the audience. In an example I'm about to show you, there will be no such bridges, but you get the idea. Ambient sounds are useful for hiding unwanted noises that may get caught with your mic during filming, such as car sounds or background conversations. This is especially important when shooting outdoors or in public places. And now let me show you how adding ambient sounds affects the mood and atmosphere of a video. I will use a video of the Savannah as an example without any sound, looks dull and uninteresting, so let's fix it. First, let's create a new audio track. I advise you to create separate audio tracks for different sounds, for example, for background music, one track for effects, another. The next step is to drag the audio tracks to the timeline. The timeline is intuitive and allows you to quickly organize clips within a project. Split them into multiple tracks and link or unlink clips. You can do some manual editing using scissors and drag and drop, but the program also allows for automating certain tasks. I have downloaded several different sounds from websites with stock audio in advance. I have the background sound of the savannah where different animal sounds are already mixed in, as well as several specific sounds to create the right mood. These are the sounds of a roaring lion, elephants and snakes. Since we have elephants in the video, the sound of the elephants is a must. And the sound of the roaring lion and rattlesnake are necessary for building suspense and creating a sense of danger. Svena is a dangerous place after all. All that is left is to scatter the sounds around the timeline, make a few cuts, and that's it. Here is the result. Take a listen. In my opinion, it's very atmospheric and I can easily imagine being in the African savannas. <laughs> Technique number two is adding specific action sounds. These can be simple sounds like a door opening, a mouse click, and so on. You might wonder why such sounds are needed when there is background music. In fact, it's these small everyday sounds that make a video feel tangible, familiar, and easy to connect with. After all, we hear all these little sounds in real life, right? Why shouldn't they be in the video then? So why not just ignore the noise in the voice recording then? Well, let's start with the fact that noise is not good. And adding small everyday sounds is the opposite of creating noise. These sounds are designed to emphasize a particular action to separate it from everything else. Let's see an example in this video of a man making coffee. Without sound, the video seems dull and unnatural, so we'll focus on two main actions. Pouring ground coffee and adding water. Before we start, I've already prepared two sound effects and some background music. Let's start by dragging the background music to the timeline. In this music track, the tempo gradually builds up, but the climax comes far too late. Therefore, I will slightly trim the beginning of the video and audio track so that the climax happens at the moment when the man pours coffee into the filter. To make the beginning of the music smooth, we need to create a gradual volume buildup. To do this, right-click on the audio track and select Add Volume Point. We need to create two such points and drag the left point all the way down to zero. 
This way, the volume will gradually rise until the climax. And I will do exactly the same thing at the end of this music track that I've trimmed to fit the length of the video. Great, now let's focus on the sound effects. The first one we're gonna work with is pouring ground coffee into filter. I will drag it to the timeline and sync it with the moment the coffee starts pouring. After doing that, I see that the duration of the effect does not match the duration of the action in the video. To fix this, I will double click on the sound and increase the speed until the duration is just right. Now the sound has become too quiet, so I'll increase the volume two times or so. Okay, it remains only to add the sounds of pouring water. Drag the audio file to the timeline as before, since our original video is quite long. One track with pouring water is not enough, so I'll copy it several times. Now with the help of volume points, we need to make the volume of each track fade in and fade out. After that, just place them so that the volume of the new track reaches 100% before the volume of the first has helped. No need to be a surgeon here, just wing it. After some trimming and adjusting of audio and video tracks, the final video sounds great. Although we could add more sounds like lifting a teapot or dripping coffee from the filter, it's not necessary. Complicated sound design can be cool, but it's not always worth the effort. So, as you can see, sound design in Movavi Video Editor is easy. And by the way, Movavi Video Editor is part of the large Movavi Unlimited suite that brings together the best of Movavi in one accessible and intuitive platform. Video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, and more nine programs and one year of unlimited access to the effects store for the price of one app. Using all these nine tools is extremely easy. Preparation of source files, editing videos, creating thumbnails, retouching photos, everything can be done in just a few clicks. Unlike its professional counterparts, Movavi Unlimited will run great even on the average computer thanks to great optimization. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that it's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Another crucial aspect of working with sound, as I mentioned earlier, is noise removal. In Movavi Video Editor, there are multiple ways to get rid of the noise and improve the voice quality. The first method is through automatic noise reduction, which can be done in just a couple of clicks. You will find this feature in the tools menu under noise removal. The program will automatically select all the parameters and you'll only have to agree. The artificial intelligence that will remove the noise has been trained on thousands of audio recordings and has learned to perfectly separate the voice from the background noise, resulting in crystal clear sound. If you want to have a little more control over the sound, you can always do everything manually. Reverb, noise gate, equalizer, and many other parameters are waiting for you. In the equalizer settings, you'll find a convenient preset called voice enhancement, which automatically adjusts frequencies for better vocal clarity. Usually this gives good results. However, from my own experience, I can say that manual tuning gives an even better sound in voice. Tune in the EQ may take some time and require patience and attention to detail to find the optimal settings for your unique voice. But the effort is well worth it. Oh, and how could I forget about using music beats in the editing? Indeed, this is also part of sound design. Sound design combines everything that can be done with sound, including tailoring sound for editing and vice versa. So Movavi Video Editor has a really useful feature, beat detection. Beat detection is an excellent solution for an efficient music-driven editing, since the program will find strong beats in the melody and mark them right on the timeline. Simply select the audio track, go to more tools, choose beat detection and click detect audio beats. In a couple of seconds, the program itself will find the strong moments in the track and mark them on the timeline with special interactive markers, to which videos magnetically attach. This makes the editing process not only much easier, but also much more musical. Sound design is a very broad topic, really. There are tons of techniques and tricks. Anyone can find something that works for them. So 
subscribe to the channel to not miss new sound design lessons. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one. Peace.